HTTP request in a in if this guide helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. First, go to the in a in website. Once you're on the homepage, click sign in at the top right corner to log into your workspace. After logging in, click create workflow, also at the top right. You'll land on the workflow canvas. Click the plus icon in the center of the screen. From a trigger list that appears, select manual trigger. Then, click the plus icon again to add another node. Search for core and choose the HTTP request node. Inside the HTTP request node, select your HTTP method. Options include delete, get, head, options, patch, post, or put. Choose post for this example. Paste your desired URL into the URL field. Next, go to the authentication section. Choose a predefined credential type. Then configure either generic auth or basic auth. Scroll down and enable send query parameters. Add name and value fields for each parameter you want to send. You can also configure send headers and send body as needed. Explore additional features in the options section. Go to the settings tab to adjust your workflow trigger preferences before running it. 